day in the OCHM garden and it is late April, 70 degrees, beautiful day, and it is time to plant our potatoes. So we cut them yesterday, just about 24 hours ago. They've been sitting in our kitchen, cut side down, getting ready to go. We are planting in the early introduced section right here, along with our onions that were already in the ground. And Bronson, our curator of collections, is here today to help plant the potatoes. So let's get started. First step is to thoroughly wet the soil. Next, we're going to loosen the soil with our trowel. This is the loam compost mix that we ordered from Ventura Grain. And it's been distributed sitting outside, but is, uh, we're just breaking up some of the larger clumps, if you will. But it's pretty loose. And... Once we're done loosening, we are going to add a little bit of organic material to help the potatoes. So in this case, we are using some mushroom compost. So now that our soil is moistened and loosened up a bit, we are going to dig three trenches for our potatoes. And each trench is going to be six to eight inches deep. We are now adding compost to the trench and the cut side down of our seed potatoes will go right into the compost. So now that our trenches are ready and they've been filled with compost, we are gonna take four pieces of potato. Remember each piece has about three to four eyes on it and they're gonna go cut side down into the trench. We are marking our row so we know where to expect the potatoes to grow. And now we're going to fill in the other trench. And remember, we have one more trench to go right down the middle. And just so you can see what 24 hours did to the potato. We can see it's gotten a little firmer, sort of started to get a little bit of a skin. That's going to protect it just enough when it's in the soil before the eyes start growing that nothing will happen to the rest of the potato. Um, and hopefully they've all got this nice slight 24 hour uh, covering to them. They need maybe about an inch of water a week. So a good rainstorm a week would do it or we'll keep an eye on it and keep if the soil gets dry, we'll keep it moistened, but um, they're not gonna need a ton of attention. Um, too much water actually can uh, be bad for the potatoes. They can, they can rot because what we're trying to grow is that soft potato underneath the ground and you don't want that to be too wet. Too much water can actually cause the tubers to rot. So it's a, if you're not sure, err on the side of too dry versus too wet, but um, adding the compost in addition to feeding the potato plant also helps with water retention in the soil. And these potatoes should be harvestable in 110 to 130 days. So late summer, early fall is when we will find out um, what type of, type of a crop we have grown here in the OCHM garden. Last step is we're going to add a little water on top today just so that the plants settle in and uh, get the best start they possibly can.
And so in addition to being a historic, interesting part of the exhibit, uh, they're kind of a fun crop to grow because we're not going to know how they went until um, a few months go by, until we dig them up and see uh, how both the potatoes and the onions are growing. And so that's it for our potato planting video. Potatoes are in the ground. Um, and then as we head further into May, heading towards Memorial Day weekend, um, some of the other crops will go in. But for now, potatoes and onions are in place and we are growing here at the OCHM garden.